welcome to STA Academy. Today we are going to discuss about the most important MCQs of motion in a plane of TS and AP MZ. Very important MCQs. The first question is if A and B are two non-zero vectors having equal magnitude, the angle between vector A and A minus B is. So here if you see suppose angle between two vectors a and b of equal magnitude is theta then the angle between a and a minus b is 180 degree minus theta by 2 or 190 sorry 90 degree minus theta by 2 hence the angle will depend on both the angle between a and b or theta the option is d next question is very important mcqs a vector having a magnitude of 30 units make equal angle with x y and z the components of vector x y z are so we have it is given in the question they have the equal magnitude that is a x equals to a y equals to a z so we know the e magnitude formula of a a equals to under a x square plus a y square plus a z square that you get uh, under root 3 a x now the formula uh, to find out the component of the vector along x and y and z axis a x equals to a by under root 3 where a equals to under root 3 sorry the a is given a vector has magnitude 30 units so a is 30 under root 3 so you will get the answer 10 under root 3 next is this is a very important question for m set for very important because this question is very easy question but this is a little bit tricky question a particle has initial velocity of 3i plus 4j and an acceleration is given its speed you need to calculate we know the basic formula of velocity to find out the speed v is equals to u plus at just substitute the value of initial velocity that is u acceleration is a and t substitute you will get the answer the answer is 7i plus 7j and uh, when you got 7i plus 7j find out the magnitude you will get the answer you know how to find out the magnitude magnitude equals to under root coefficient is square sum of coefficient is square that's when you substitute that you will get the answer next is very important question a unit vector perpendicular to a and b when the unit vector is perpendicular to a and b you need to find out uh, the unit vector the formula is n equals to plus or minus a cross b by a b sin theta so first find out a cross b you know how to find out the cross product find out what is a magnitude and b magnitude you know how to find out a magnitude and b magnitude you already learn in your ip a magnitude calculation 3 square plus 1 square that is under root 2 sorry under root 10 and b magnitude is 2 square plus 1 square plus 5 square you will get the 30 substitute that there is a formula of cos theta cos theta is equals to a dot b by a b a magnitude b magnitude when you substitute a dot b dot product of a b you know how to find out the dot product just find out the dot product of a b a magnitude b magnitude substitute you will get the cos theta why we are finding cos theta why because in the formula of uh, unit vector a plus or minus a cross b a b and sin theta when you know cos theta then only because we don't have a separate formula for sin theta we know that there is one formula for sin theta sin theta is equals to one my under root one minus cos square theta substitute their cos you will get the answer of sin theta substitute sin theta in the formula of n plus or minus a cross b by a magnitude b magnitude sin theta you will get the answer this is very important question many a time this kind of question has been asked in m set very important and very helpful guys for you next is next question is this is also another very important question very basic question force is given and is applied over a particle which displays to the origin the displacement is given you know what is the formula of work done work done is force dot displacement so the displacement is given just find out the dot product you will get the answer very simple question next is a projectile is thrown in upward direction making an angle 60 degree with horizontal direction with velocity 147 meter per second then the after which it's inclined with horizontal is 45 degree you need to find out the time after which its incline is 45 degree so horizontal component is given that is 60 degree and another horizontal component uh, is 45 degree the angle is the first horizontal component velocity 
angle is 60 degree second is 45 degree we have a cost formula u cost theta equals to v cost uh, cost theta the first is the initial one that the, the second one is the final velocity we know that whenever we get the first velocity that is initial velocity second is final velocity initial velocity equals to final velocity so here u cost is 60 degree equals to v 45 degree substitute the cost 60 degree is 1 by 2 and cost 45 degree is 1 by root 2 substitute you will get the velocity but what we need to find out in the question the time after which is inclination you need to find out the time to find out the time we have the formula v is equals to u plus a t so we have v but uh, to find out the vertical component of u vertical component of u is u sine uh, sin 60 degree so you whenever vertical component we need to find out we need to take sin theta for horizontal component we need to take cos theta so vertical components u is u sin 60 degree you got the value and u sorry v sin 45 degree we got the value same substitute here u y sorry v y equals to u y plus 80 when you substitute there you will get the time this is very important question this this questions come many a time in tsm set like this kind of questions they have asked so many times next let us go to the next question very tricky and new pattern of question th this year i am giving to you if f1 f2 are two vectors with equal magnitude f and f dot f2 equals to f cross f2 then f1 plus f2 is equals to so f f cos theta equals to f f sin theta both are same why because it says that dot product equals to cross product and it also says f1 f2 are two e vectors of equal magnitude so we are putting the formula f f cos theta equals to f f sin theta sin theta by cos theta is tan theta you got the angle tan theta f1 plus f2 you need to find out uh, the magnitude of f1 plus f2 the formula is under root f square plus f square plus 2 f f cos theta is given 45 degree you will get the answer this is the new question uh, the 19 one why because this question is a very important question why because the reason is this is a new pattern of question neglecting the air resistance the time of flight of a projectile is determined so the time of flight formula you know you to you sin theta by g so it says neglecting the air resistance the time of flight of a projectile formula so 2 by g into u why because the time of flight is 2t so uh, time of flight formula one minute time of flight formula is uh, u sin theta by t so t equals to time of flight is 2t uh, why reason is time of flight is 2t it says the neglecting the air resistance whenever we ne neglect the air resistance time of flight is equals to 2t substitute here you will get the answer 2 by g into u vertically this is a very important just you can remember the answer also very simple question and next question this is the board problem the a board takes two hours to travel eight kilometer and back in a still water lake if a velocity of water is four kilometer per hour the time taken for going upstream of eight kilometer and coming back is so here we what we need to find out the time so that a board takes two hours to travel eight kilometer and back in a still water lake if the velocity of water is four kilometer per hour the time taken for going upstream of eight kilometer and coming back downstream upstream you know that this is a very important concept of boat upstream i suppose the direction in which the water is flowing that direction if boat is moving that is called downstream if the in the direction the boat is uh, water is flowing and the, and the boat is uh, going against the flow of water that is called upstream the total distance traveled by the boat in two hours is eight plus eight that is 16 kilometer in steel water therefore the speed of boat in steel water is 16 by two that take two hours total distance means when the boat goes 8 kilometer again it comes back that is 8 plus 8 that is 16 kilometer the velocity of boat is 8 kilometer per hour effective velocity when boat moves in upstream direction the formula is velocity of boat minus velocity of water so in upstream you got 4 kilometer therefore 
टाइम टेकन टू ट्रैवल फ्रॉम वन एंड टू अनदर एंड सपोज द बोर्ड इज मूविंग फ्रॉम वन एंड टू अनदर एंड इट टेक्स टू आवर्स इफेक्टिव वेलासिटी वेन बोर्ड मूव डाउन स्ट्रीम डाउन स्ट्रीम मीन्स वेलासिटी ऑफ बोर्ड प्लस वेलासिटी ऑफ वाटर द फार्मूला ऑफ अप स्ट्रीम इज वेलासिटी ऑफ बोर्ड माइनस वेलासिटी ऑफ वाटर फॉर डाउन स्ट्रीम वेलासिटी ऑफ बोर्ड प्लस वेलासिटी ऑफ वाटर ट्वेल्व किलोमीटर सो नाउ द टोटल डिस्टेंस इज एट एंड हियर वॉट हैपन द वेलासिटी इज ट्वेल्व तो डिस्टेंस इज एट बाई ट्वेल्व दैट इज टू बाई थ्री आवर्स दैट इज फोर्टी मिनट्स दैट टोटल टाइम्स इट टेक्स टू आवर्स टू वन एंड एंड टाइम टेकन टू ट्रैवल एट किलोमीटर दैट इज टू आवर्स फोर्टी मिनट्स दिस अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर बोर्ड प्रॉब्लम गाइज नेक्स्ट इज ए कार इज ट्रैवलिंग विद ए वेलासिटी ऑफ टेन किलोमीटर पर आवर ऑन ए स्ट्रेट रोड द ड्राइवर ऑफ द कार थ्रो से पार्सल विद ए वेलासिटी ऑफ टेन अंडर रूट टू किलोमीटर पर आवर वेन द कार इज पासिंग बाई मैन स्टैंडिंग ऑन द साइड ऑफ द रोड इफ द पार्सल इज रीच द मैन डायरेक्शन थ्रोज मेक्स एन एंगल विद द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द कार सो हियर दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन लेट द वेलासिटी ऑफ द कार बी लेट वी वन बी द वेलासिटी ऑफ द कार एंड वी टू बी द वेलासिटी ऑफ द पार्सल नेक्स्ट वाट हैपन्स इट मेक्स एन एंगल टीटा फ्रॉम क्यू इट रीचेस द मैन एट एम so the man is throwing a parcel the velocity of v1 is the one velocity 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 v2 is another velocity the cos theta is v1 by v2 you will get 1 by root 2 and theta equals to 45 degree this is a very simple question this is another very very important question a the ship a ship a is moving westward with velocity 10 km per per hour and ship b sorry a ship a is moving westward with velocity 10 km per hour and a ship b 100 km sorry once again i will repeat the question by because this question is a ship a is moving westward with velocity 10 km per hour and a ship b 100 km south of a is moving northward with vela with a speed 10 km per hour the time after which the distance between them is shortest and the shortest distance between them are this is shortest distance formula is d by vr so here vr formula is v1 square plus v2 square under root v1 is given v2 is given you will get the answer now what is the distance distance how much distance is it's it's travel uh distance is equals to ac ac is sin 45 degree and you know what is sin 45 degree ab is how much a to b total distance is given just substitute here you will get the answer 50 root 2 and yes 50 root 2 is the answer substitute there you will get the shortest distance answer next is this is another very important question a particle is moving eastward with a velocity 5 meter per second in 10 second the velocity changes to 5 meter per second not the average acceleration the time is this is a very un, uh, very good question why because first it says the velocity of v1 is given plus 5 and v2 is plus 5 change in velocity v2 minus v1 you got find out the magnitude and acceleration is delta v by t you will get the acceleration then next tan alpha is 5 minus 5 by Why? Because one velocity is going in one direction, another is going in another direction. That is minus five by minus five. That is minus one. So average acceleration is one by root two towards northwest. Very important question. Next is this is a very sim tricky and very simple question. A boy can throw a stone up to maximum height of ten meter. The maximum horizontal distance that the boy can throw the same stone up to will be. so initial velocity you need to calculate the formula of initial velocity is 2 gh h is given just substitute there you will get the answer next is this is another new type of question a water fountain on the ground sprinkles water all around it if the speed of the water coming out of the mountain is v the total area around the fountain is so maximum range of water coming out of the fountain that is maximum range formula is v square by g so here the area of a fountain area formula is 2 pi r square sorry pi r square substitute the value of r you will get the answer next is 13th question very simple question 
टू फिक्स फ्रिक्शन लेस इंक्लाइन प्लेन मेकिंग एन एंगल थर्टी डिग्री एंड सिक्सटी डिग्री सिक्सटी डिग्री आई शोन इन द फिगर टू ब्लॉक ए एंड बी आर प्लेस ऑन टू प्लेन वॉट इज द रिलेटिव वर्टिकल एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ ए एंड बी रिलेटिव वर्टिकल एक्सेलरेशन फॉर्मुला इज गिवेन जी साइन डीटा साइन साइन स्क्वायर सिक्सटी डिग्री माइनस साइन स्क्वायर थर्टी डिग्री जस्ट सब्सिट्यूट हियर यू विल गेट द आंसर वट इज द फॉर्मूला वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ जी इज नाइन पॉइंट एट नाइन पॉइंट एट डिवाइड बाई टू यू विल गेट द आंसर नेक्स्ट इज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ए पार्टिकल इज मूविंग विद वेलासिटी वेलासिटी इज गिवेन जनरल इक्वेशन ऑफ इट्स पाथ सिंपल द वाई स्क्वायर इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई इज द जनरल इक्वेशन ऑफ द पाथ यू कैन डायरेक्टली यू कैन सॉल्व वी इज इक्वल्स टू के वाई आई प्लस के एक्स जे डिफरेंशिएट इज वेलासिटी फॉर्मूला यू नो वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला वेलासिटी डी एक्स बाई डी टी जस्ट डिफरेंशिएट इट यू विल गेट द आंसर थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग वी इन अवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल अपलोड दिस इज द मोशन इन ए प्लेन इन अवर वीडियो नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल अपलोड लॉज ऑफ मोशन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग